Hello, this is from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can rotate or animate rotation in Blender when it comes to like a, a ball or wheels on the car. Now I'm going to open up this scene in Blender. This is Blender 2.82, I think. But this technique can be used with any version of Blender. And I have a cube that I've put here and a plane to represent the uh, road or the street or whatever surface you're wanting to rotate your object on. Now, uh, an important thing to note, let me turn on my screencast keys first. Hopefully this works. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Let me see. Okay, nothing's happening. Uh, oh, there it is. I was way a little bit higher up than it was supposed to be. Okay, there's the uh, the keys that I'm using. Let me hold on shift and uh, let me see. Okay, that's working. But uh, an important thing to note, let me go into side view by pressing there my three on my keyboard hold down shift middle mouse button and drag is that the pivot point for whatever object you're wanting to rotate has to be in the middle if it's off to the side or off anywhere but besides the middle it's going to look pretty weird uh, from the animated animated point of rotation so make sure that your pivot point is in the middle of your uh, object here another thing to note is we're going to utilize this uh, recording auto king function in blender and this auto king function is is present in all forms of blender you can use this technique as i mentioned before in any version of blender uh by default it's turned off to turn it on just left click hover your mouse over the uh, icon and left click and that turns blue and blender 2.79 and lower thing it turns red and the next thing we're going to do is press i on our keyboard to um, use the uh, insert keyframe menu and because we're wanting it to go from left to right, which is movement, that's going to be location. And we want it to rotate also, so press I on your keyboard. And we're going to choose lock rot, which is short for location and rotation, and then left click once. We're going to go down to, let me see, the end of our timeline, which is at 130. So have our mouse over the uh, this area, this input section, left click, and type in 130 on our keyboard. It can go to any, you can go to any length you want. This is just for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to 130. We're going to left click and drag our mouse so that the cube goes all the way to the end of the uh, floor here or the ground. And it automatically keyframes that, but just to make sure that it is keyframing what we want, we're going to press I again, <coughs> excuse me, and left click lock rot. <coughs> Let me get a sip of water here. All right, and the next thing we want to do, let's hold down shift and middle mouse button drag so we can center our uh, scene so we can see it better. And hold down my middle mouse button to pivot also. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to open up in the items tab, the uh, transform properties. And we want to type in, in the rotation. One thing you have to note with uh, when you type in your rotation is the direction that your object is going in. For us, at this point for this tutorial, we're going from right to left, which is positive, on the y-axis. So we need our object to pivot on the x-axis. So on the x-axis, we're going to type in 360. 360, enter. And then we're going to see what we've come up with. So let's go back to the beginning of our, uh, of the, um, of the animation here and we're going to click on the play button and you can see it rotates and that's pretty much it so just keep in mind the points that we brought out which is to make sure that your pivot point for your object is in the middle of your mesh that's because you want to have it have actual rotation and you also want to make sure that whatever direction you're going in the rotation should be on the other axis we're wanting this to pretty much rotate like a wheel or a ball rolling along the ground so on the x-axis we're having it rotate in the positive if it was going from left to right it would be negative 360 instead of positive so yeah that's the uh, blend quick tip for today i hope it was helpful to all those of you who are watching and maybe we can put, let me put, let me turn this into a ball. 
So let me, this is just extra for this tutorial, but I just want to see it spin as a ball. So I'm going to turn, put a subdivision surface on that and crank that up and let's see how it rotates on that. So play. Yeah. And it still rotates like a ball. So yeah, that's it. So that's blend, the uh, blend quick tip for today. Once again, make sure your pivot point is in the middle. Make sure that if you're going, if you're wanting a realistic uh, animation from left to, or right to left, that's the positive uh, direction. So if it was uh, left to right, there'll be the negative. So make sure it's also pivoting on the correct axis for us. Since we're going along the uh, the y axis in terms of the direction, we have to pivot it on the or rotate it on the x axis, which is the, the red arrow here. So that's the uh, blend quick tip for today. Hope it was helpful to you. Those of you who have subscribed, I uh, really appreciate you guys and the ones who will still subscribe in the future. Appreciate you guys also. And I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.